Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Friday. Welcome to Friday Favorites and Flux. I hope you've all had a really good week. I've had a good week myself. I'm looking forward to this weekend because Stella and I are going to head up to my parents' house for the weekend. I am really looking forward to that. It's been a while since I have seen my parents in person. So the time has come. We're going to head up the freeway and go spend some time with Oma and Opa. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, I hope that you guys have some fun plans for yourself for this weekend as well. So um, yeah, anyway, looking forward to it for myself. And I have my usual plethora of beauty things, frivolous beauty things to share with you guys today. Um, some new things that I've been testing out that I'm really enjoying. So. Uh, we're going to go ahead and dive right into it because there's a fair amount to talk about. Again, um, I will put links for everything that I mentioned down below. So if you're curious about where to find these things, how much they cost, reviews that other people have on these products, um, all that information is down in the description box down below. Okay, uh, I am going to start with closing up this skincare product that I did not close this morning. <laughs> I'm really glad I noticed that because... Today, I have spent most of the day just knocking things over as I'm cleaning the house, so I'm so glad that caught my eye because that's an expensive item. <laughs> okay, where am I going to start? I'm going to start with perfume. Um, this week, I have been sporting the lovely and summery uh, Skylar Capri. Um, right now, I only have it in this uh, rollerball format. However, uh, I'm going to be finishing this up definitely this summer, if not before the end of July. Um, this is a scent that's perfect for summertime. This is what I think of as like a beautiful beachy floral type scent. Um, it's very pretty, very feminine. Um, if you're someone who likes very clean, modern, um, very simple type fragrances, I would definitely suggest checking out really any of, any of the Skylar fragrances, but specifically, Capri for summertime. This one is gorgeous. Um, every time that I wear this, I get a ton of compliments on it. I feel like it's a very universally liked scent. Um, if you've never tried it, I would highly suggest checking this out. Um, the only thing that I don't like about it, and this is just a complaint about this particular packaging, is I have found that the rollerball format tends to um, like when you're using the rollerball, obviously there is an opportunity for your skin cells and whatever else you have on your body to get back into the perfume. So mine's pretty cloudy by this point. Um, so when I repurchase this, I'm going to just get the full size, which is obviously the traditional like spray on perfume bottle. Um, but this was a great way to try it and I love it. I'll probably repurchase it at the start of next summer uh, because I think it's a perfect summertime scent, but um, I won't repurchase until then because for me, this is a very seasonal scent in my eyes anyway. It's beautiful. I love it. If you've never tried it, definitely check it out. Okay, um, should we do some hair? Okay, so uh, as you guys know, I've mentioned in previous videos that uh, Derma E sends me PR packages from time to time, which I think is incredibly generous of them. I also purchase their products on my own. Um, of all of the like drugstore skincare companies that I can think of, I really do think that Derma E is one of the best, at least for my skin. Um, and they now have uh, shampoos and conditioners as well. So they sent me their thickening shampoo and conditioner. This is their therapeutic mint and herbal blend. And um, this is very, this is, this smells amazing. Let me just say that. If you like minty shampoos and conditioners, this is great. Here's what I found. So Stella and I have both been using this for the last like week. And um, for me, I think this is something that I can use maybe once a week. It's not very hydrating, and it's not supposed to be. It's not a hydrating formula, it's a thickening formula. It really does definitely make my hair feel more substantial when I use it. But 
it's not hydrating and here's the thing with my gray hair it craves moisture so all of the shampoos and conditioners that you typically see me buying and using on any type of regular basis are specifically hydrating or moisturizing shampoos and conditioners because my hair just needs that being naturally gray um, however on Stella's hair, this has been amazing. The amount of shine and body that she gets from using this shampoo and conditioner is pretty incredible. So I feel like if you have just normal hair that maybe isn't prone to being more naturally dry and you are looking for something that is going to give you um, some shine and some thickness to your hair, you should look into this. For me, this almost acts like a clarifying shampoo and conditioner in a way. So it's good for a once a week treat kind of thing, but for every day, it's a little too, there's just not enough moisture for me. Um, however, most people with non gray hair, I would suggest checking this out. I do think that they have a hydrating shampoo and conditioner in their line. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase that for myself here in the next month or so and um i'll use that and review that for you guys so that way if you have hair that is a little more similar to mine <laughs> versus stella's beautiful blonde young locks um i'll let you guys know at that point but yeah so i just wanted to let you guys know that um this is definitely good it's just not ideal for my specific hair type um but i'll look into their hydrating one and i'll pick that up uh, another hair item, um, the Uberlis Bond Sustainer. So this one here is the Platinum Jasmine, um, which I think is great if you have naturally gray hair and you're just looking for a toning type product. This does not deposit color into my hair. Um, normally when I use like purple color depositing either conditioners or shampoos or, you know, treatments or whatever uh the the color will take hold in my hair but this acts more as a toner for me um anyway i did a video earlier this week uh that was all about um my experience comparing the olaplex which i have been using for quite some time the olaplex number three specifically uh to this uber lease and if you missed that video i'll i'll definitely link it down below um it basically compared the two products and for me I found that this is a really great less expensive option so go watch that video if you haven't but this one's fantastic they also just have like a regular like clear version like not colored in any kind of way so if you're concerned about potential color depositing in your hair um, check out their clear one which I will also link down below but anyway uh, love this stuff I mean, for being half the price, like, I, I will certainly be repurchasing this. Uh, I love the Olaplex, and I will also repurchase that in the future, but if budget is an issue for you, look into this for sure. Um, where am I moving to next? Let's do uh, a new SPF find. <laughs> um, this is actually not that new, but um, I really am loving this particular SPF. It has a really nice sheer formula that blends into the skin very easily and very quickly. Uh, this is the Bare Republic Mineral Sunscreen Spray. It, uh, it's an SPF 50. Uh, this does have a water resistant uh, formula for up to 80 minutes. So it you could use it when you're out in the pool or whatever. Um, as with any sunscreen, you're gonna have to reapply periodically. This has titanium dioxide as well as zinc dioxide zinc oxide not dioxide zinc oxide in it um the uh bear republic is cruelty free they are actually also vegan which i think is great and this is also a reef friendly formula and this is a really affordable sunscreen it's definitely uh under 15 dollars and um it was actually an allure best of beauty winner in 2018 so this is good stuff this it doesn't give me a white cast on any parts of my body where i'm using it and it really does do a good job of protecting the skin so um on days where you need something higher than an spf 30 check out this bare republic spf 50 this is really nice 
Um, another uh, sunscreen that I've been testing. Um, I have been in sunscreen testing mode for weeks now. Um, you guys know that I did a video, uh, a collab with Penn from um, over at Penn Smith Skincare. We uploaded that video a couple weeks ago, and since then I have been testing out more sunscreens. Um, one of the newest ones that has a pretty unique formulation, and I actually wish that I would have had this when we were doing our video together because this totally would have gone in mind. So my specific video was geared towards people that have um, very oily skin, which it can be hard to find a sunscreen uh, if you have oily skin. So this one from the sunscreen company, this is their Ava Isa Sunny Serum Drops. Um, this is made with 25% zinc oxide, which is great for oily skin. And it has a UVA, UVB broad spectrum SPF 35. What's kind of cool about this is it's actually a serum formula, which I have never tried before. So it comes out in a dropper like this. I'll just show you on the back of my hand here. This dries to such a beautiful matte finish on the skin. Now, that being said, if you have very dry skin, I don't think you're gonna like this, but if you have combination oily or very oily skin, you should try this. Um, the price point of this, by the way, it is a little bit more expensive. I believe this is around $50. Uh, this particular product was sent to me from a PR company, so I didn't pay for this. However, I, I will be repurchasing this because I just love the way this looks on my skin. Um, so this is what it looks like when you first get it out. Um, it, I, I wish that I could explain this texture to you. It just feels so nice. Now, I really like a more matte finish to my sunscreen. Um, I also try really hard to avoid getting sunscreens that have a white cast. Um, I mean, I can certainly fix that with makeup, but if I don't have to, I would rather not. Um, but the way this makes my skin look is just amazing. Um, it smooths out my pores. It protects my skin, which is the most important part, but it also keeps my skin looking fresher longer into the day because it's helping to kind of prevent that oil from breaking through. So I'm a huge fan of this. I knew nothing about the sunscreen company before, and I am very intrigued now. This is a Canadian company. They're based out of Ottawa. So anyway, really enjoying this. Um, I will probably be doing, just because I'm testing so many new sunscreens, I'll probably do another sunscreen compilation video a little bit later on in the summer, maybe end of July, beginning of August, to talk about um, a bunch of other sunscreens that I'm also testing. So, uh, but this one, very good, enjoying this a lot. Um, I have a couple of skincare products here. The first is a cleanser that um, was actually sent to me from my friend Susan. She sent me a Christmas package and she popped this little sample in there for me. Susan loves Dermalogica and she has really gotten me into trying a lot more from Dermalogica. Um, their Biolumency Serum and the Multivitamin Thermofoliant are holy grail products of mine. Um, I always have backups of both. Fabulous. And this cleanser from the H Mart line, this is their skin resurfacing cleanser. This is fantastic for the morning time. Um, after using this this week, I could totally see myself buying the full size of this to be able to keep in the shower for the morning. It's the perfect way to like start your day. Um, it's more of a cream based cleanser, so it doesn't dry your skin out at all. It um, really does make your skin feel very smooth afterwards. It's just a really great way to prep your skin for your morning skincare routine. I could certainly use this at night as well. However, I prefer more of a foaming second cleanser for the nighttime. Um, I don't know, having my oily skin, I just feel a little bit better about my face having used a cleanser that has a little, a little bit of a foaming action to it. But in the morning, I don't require that at all. But anyway, this is fantastic. So um, thank you, Susan. <laughs> I have another thing on my skincare list, skincare desires list. So that is definitely going on there. Um, 
Speaking of more skincare, uh, I picked up the Dermatology Needleless Serum again. Fun fact, like way back in the day before Dermatology was like widely talked about here on YouTube, they actually reached out to me and sent me a couple of PR packages. And one of the ones that they sent had the Needleless Serum in it, and I've done a review of this in the past. This is a really great serum, you guys. Um, I kind of regret getting away from it, and I, the only reason that I did was because I just really love trying new things, um, and sometimes I forget about older products that still are incredible products, and this still is fantastic. So. Um, anyway, I ordered this and I also ordered several other things from Dermatology. Um, this particular product is one of their higher price point products. I think this was $65. Um, but a lot of the stuff that they have, like their SPFs and stuff like that are actually really quite affordable. Um, I do have a coupon code for them. I'll put that information down below if you're interested in ordering anything from them. I do want to do a dermatology haul video. Um, maybe, ooh, I don't know if I'll have time to get it up before the end of the month because there's some other videos that need to go up beforehand, but definitely early July. I'll show you guys everything that I picked up and what I'm going to be testing out from them. But um, I started using this again this week and I forgot how much I really enjoyed it. This has a ton of really great ingredients in it, including niacinamide, which you guys know is such an important skincare ingredient to me personally. Um, so yeah, this, I just, I love this. I love this product. There's a lot of uh, advertisements for this on YouTube right now. Um, it is really, really good. Do I think that it is an alternative to injections? I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> because you guys know that I do get, um, Xeomin in my forehead. So, the, so far I have not found any skincare product that is as effective as Xeomin in terms of getting rid of lights and wrinkles. However, that being said, there are really great ingredients in here that are going to have a wonderful long-term effect on your skin if you use the product consistently. So anyway, uh, that is fantastic. Glad to have it again and um, I'm really enjoying it. I'm using it morning and night, by the way, so twice a day. Uh, let's get into makeup. I'm gonna try to do this quickly on my eyes this week. I've been doing um, basically this and this. <laughs> I've been using these two palettes together. This is the Becca Ombre Nudes. Oh my gosh, um, how old is this palette? Uh, I recently switched out my makeup. I didn't do a shop my stash. Um, those videos don't really seem to get a lot of interest anymore, so I didn't record it. Um, but if you have this in your collection, the Ombre Nudes eyeshadow palette, get this out. This is such a great, like, easy, I don't know what I want to do with my makeup today, so I'll just grab this. And you will always look finished and polished um, with these eyeshadows. They're so easy. They're pigmented, but they're not too pigmented to where they're difficult to work with. Um, they stay all day with an eye primer. Um, I just, I think they're, this is one of the best products from Becca that I think that I've ever tried. I think this is really good. Um, then the, uh, sorry, <laughs> I'm struggling to open that. The Viseart Bridal Satin. So this is probably my most underutilized Viseart palette, and I don't really know why, because it's so good. Um, so I'm trying to focus a little bit more on using it. This has some great lid shades in here for me, and that's what I've mostly been using this for this week. I've been using this pink on my lid, this peach, as well as this kind of pretty taupe shade here. There's a gorgeous purple in here. Um, this is just a really interesting mix of colors. I wouldn't call this like a, a bridal look at all, necessarily. Um, I don't think it's very aptly named. I don't know what I would call it, but I do really enjoy these shadows and I'm glad that I plucked it out of my uh, eyeshadow collection and that I decided to give it a whirl again because it's really, really good. For blush this week, I've been doing either one of these, um, either Tarte Party, um, which is just a gorgeous pinky nude. Um, Tarte has quite a few of these gorgeous pinky nudes in their collection, 
Party, I think, is probably one of my favorites next to, is it Sensual? That's the one that I'm thinking of. Seduce. <laughs> this one here. This one is also gorgeous. Love. Love, love, love. And then this. This is beautiful for summer. If you've never tried these primer-infused um, blushes from Buxom, uh, you should try Mykonos for the summertime because this shade is a beautiful peach for summer perfection love it absolutely love it uh for lips this week uh got a lot going on <laughs> today i am doing a little salt life duo here so i just wanted something kind of mauvey and um this was the salt life duo this may still be available uh if not at sephora potentially on the tart website i'll look it up but this actually came as a duo for less than 30 bucks so the H2O Gloss and Salt Life, as well as the lipstick. Um, really love the formula of the lipstick, love the formula of the gloss, and if you like a lot of my um, lip color choices, I really tend to love mauves um, and pinky nudes. That kind of tends to be my go-to because I feel most comfortable in those shades. Speaking of um, more mauvey nudes, <laughs> The Hourglass uh, Nude Number no. 6, which is from their like nude collection, and then also Futurist. Um, honestly, these are very, very similar. I probably didn't need both. However, I love them both. I feel like these were some of the most underrated lipsticks when they first came out. I don't think they were hyped enough based on how fantastic they actually are. These are very creamy. They're a very moisturizing formula. They stay put a really good part of the day. They have some great color choices. They are more expensive, so it's hourglass. We all know that that price point is a bit of an ouch, <laughs> but they're really, really good, and I totally think they're worth it. And then my last lipstick might actually surprise you because look at that, it is actually a coral. <laughs> This is the Beach Balm in the shade Soul from Wander Beauty. Um, these uh, beach balms are gorgeous on the lips. They're almost like a lip tint, which is why I can sport this color. So pretty. These are beautiful on the lips and they're so, so hydrating. It's basically, I think of this more as like a, a lip balm than anything else, but it does have a really nice hint of color and this color is gorgeous. There is a like nude shade in this uh, collection and I need to pick that up because it's fabulous. And the last thing I wanna share is, um, you guys know that I loved this last week and continue to love it. This being the Touch and Soul No Problem um, Priming Water. Hi, Mr. Cone. Hi, how are ya? He's probably coming to ask me for a snack. Anyway, love this. So, um, in the PR package that I received um, from Touch and Soul, they also inclu included their glassy, glassy skin balm. Pretty filter glassy skin balm. There we go. <laughs> Read the label, Melanie. So this is, uh, it's a different texture from the other one, obviously. This is more of like a, it's almost like a face cream. It reminds me of just a facial moisturizer. This is really nice, guys. Um, I have been wearing this, uh, and it really does give your skin a gorgeous, beautiful glow, which is not my favorite type of look on my skin, um, and that's only because of my oily skin. That being said, with makeup over top, I was able to take the glow of this down a little bit. Um, but it, I think this is going to be better for those of you that like that glow, that really want your skin to have a shine to it. It's really, it's great for that. Um, for me, I did end up wanting to powder this down. Um, but if you have dry skin, this would be the Touch and Soul primer for you. I think you could also do the priming water. That being said, if I had to choose between the two for my oily skin type, I'm gonna stick with this. Um, I've already, I think I've already mentioned that I placed an order um, 
through Ulta to get the priming, I think it's called the priming essence. So um, Touch and Soul has several primers to choose from, but that priming essence one was one that really interested me based on me loving this one so much. So um, that should be here hopefully within the next week or so, and I'll test that one out. And I really wanna be able to do kind of an overview on some Touch and Soul products. Um, it's a brand that I don't hear a whole lot about. So anyway, um, this, if you have dry skin or normal skin and you like a glow, you should look into this because it, it is very, very pretty on the skin. Um, I think what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to use it on my neck and my decollete because I don't mind as much of a glow there. Um, but for my face, this isn't the most ideal for me personally. So all right, you guys, that's everything that I have for you today. Um, I really hope that you have a lovely weekend. Leave me any questions down below in the comments. And I do have a couple of videos pre-recorded for this weekend, so those will be going up while I'm gone. Um, they're home fragrance related if you're interested in that type of stuff. Otherwise, I will see you guys back here on Monday for beauty-related content. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.